What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 6 from my playthrough on Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we finished up the Crimson Mire Lands and defeated our second noble Pokemon. And in today's video, we're going to be heading to a brand new area, the Kabok Coastland. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, consider subscribing. It really goes a long way, so shout out to all my subscribers. But off screen, after the end of the last episode, we actually um, got third star rank. So I was really, really close by the end of the last episode. So I was just like, yo, let me do it off screen and we can get rolling out from there. But we got it off screen. We're now sitting at third star rank and we can head to a brand new area and unlock a brand new Pokemon to ride on, which is going to be Basculeegee. Now we can ride on waters in a little bit and it's absolutely amazing. I love this new area. I think it's super, super cool. Wait till you guys see it. It's a big beachy theme. It is awesome all around. Look at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you guys know me, I'm a big fan of beach areas in any type of video game. In like Mario levels, I'm a fan of uh, water levels. In Sonic levels, water. I'm all about that water, all about those beachy themes. So this place, I'm going to absolutely love. We got a few new Pokemon to catch in this area. And also, we, I think we're going to get a few new Pokemon on our team. So hopefully you guys are excited for today's video. But I'm here to have some fun with this game. I've been loving it so much. It's been absolutely amazing. I think everything about this game has been super, super fun. And a lot of people have been asking me on my stream and on YouTube, like, yo, Jeans, is this game worth it? I think it's very worth it. If you guys are into solo player games, if you guys love Pokemon, this is definitely the game for you. This is definitely the game for you. But if you guys want to catch more content from me also, head to my Twitch page, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream five plus days every single week. We've been grinding out Pokemon Legend Arceus plus Series 12 of Sword and Shields coming out soon, so... Very excited to do all that content over my Twitch page. So like I said, link is down in the description below. Name's Jeans25 on Twitch. I would love to see you guys pop out, say what's up and all that good stuff. But we head to the co or the coastland, I'm just going to be calling it. The Kabok Coastland. We head here. And is this Lydia? What's her name again? I totally forget. She blows the pokey flute over here, getting everything started. But yo, just let me run around in this area. Like, that's what this game is about. Running around and catching Pokemon. And that's her name, Arita. Arita from the Pearl Clan. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But there's a few very, very cool Pokemon in this area. But I think she wants to battle first, right? Yeah. She wants to battle me first. It's all good. She has a Glaceon. We have a Koala, but this should be an easy one. And I'll take the free XP. I'll take the free XP all day. And she has an Eevee on the side. All right. She has an Eevee on the side. I could go maybe Agile style. But Agile style really doesn't do much for me. Really doesn't do much for me. So I'm just going to go for a regular Flame Wheel. Bop. Do some big damage. And I think if I would have went Strong style on that one, we probably could have taken that thing out. So Glaceon's going to go. Glaceon might be able to go again. This thing's going to send a baby doll eyes, but the Eevee on the side really doesn't do that much. It's really all about that Glaceon. Glaceon's going to drop an Ice Beam. We soak that up all day. And my Koala should go next. Yep, Koala's going to be able to go next. We're going to drop a lovely little Flame Wheel, do some big damage, and then it's going to turn it into a 1v1. Hopefully this Eevee can't KO me. I'd be a little sad if it kills me with a Quick Attack. Cool, Koala, go next. Don't go twice. Of course, yo, this thing goes twice, and my Koala's going to get 0 XP. So whack. The battle system's cool, but it's definitely a little whack sometimes, especially when they use quick attack and they get two turns in a row. It's like, come on, yo, get out my face. Get out my face. But we're sitting here. I'm just gonna drop a nice, lovely stealth rocks, chip up on this guy, and say, Eevee, get out my face. Eevee might go down to the splinters here, right? Oh, baby, doll eyes me. Splinters, take him out. That's what I love about this new Stone Edge move. I really do like it. I think it's super, super strong. It's super strong. It has just the splinters pointing into the Pokemon, and at the end of every single turn, it takes pester damage. But. Down goes Eevee. Cleaver's going to get all the big XP. And we might want to go into our Pokebox, actually. That is something I actually want to do. I want to maybe change up some moves, uh, put some items away, because I know my satchel is full and we're going to be collecting some new items. And we might want to switch some new Pokemon onto the squad. Because what I like to do with my squad, if I do not have Pokemon that I want on my team yet, is just throw in Pokemon that I can at least evolve and get into my Pokedex. I think that's the best way to actually complete your Pokedex and just fill it out as quickly as possible. But... Let me go, lady. I want to head to this new area. So what I want to do with today's uh, area is actually head towards the second note or the, or the third noble Pokemon for this area. And I want to catch a bunch of Pokemon. And I'm hoping I can get at least two new Pokemon on my squad. I know I can guarantee myself getting one, but we might not be able to get the second one if I cannot find them. Because in my other game, I wasn't really able to find them too, too well. But sometimes they pop out. I think it just depends on the uh, time of day and all that good stuff. So we're going to head here and check craft stuff first. Let's actually put stuff away first. So let's throw away. What do we want away? What do we want away? We want this grit dust because this is something for like more so post game level one up your Pokemon. I'm gonna move all this grit dust. I will move the King's Leaf. Uh, what about these Chester berries? Yeah, we'll move the Chester berries. Just save them for later. The soot fruit. How do you even pronounce that? Soot foot root. <laughs> soot foot root. That's hilarious. There you go. Put that in there. Wood. We don't really get that much of. So I'm gonna put that away. Uh, Peppa plant. I'll keep. What else do I want to keep? Am I good with all that? 
Maybe one more thing I want to drop out. Maybe raspberries. And I could drop some bugwort. Cake lord base I could definitely put away. Okay, I'm cool with that. And the hardy greens. We really do not need any hardy greens. All right, let's put that away. And let's go to my crafting thing. And I can actually chuck crafting uh, great balls now. It's the same thing as pokeballs, just with iron chunks. We have plenty of iron chunks. So let me actually craft 21 of them. And I'll craft a few more pokeballs here. I'll craft like eight more. That's fine. And then we'll craft some potions. And then switch them to super potions. Because you know my Pokemon are a lot higher level. We can actually only craft five. So we definitely need some more pep up plants all day. Can we craft any of you guys? We're at five. I think we're thriving with this. We're definitely thriving with it. But yo, let's get on it. Let's get on this and get rolling here. Let's get rolling to the brand new area right here. And oh, there's a glammy out. Brand new Pokemon right off the rip. Let's switch to our Pokeball. See if we can just hit this thing with a Pokeball. Just get ripping with it. Do not see me. Please don't see me. You don't see me. You do not see me whatsoever. Thank you very much, Glammy out. Where are you going, sweetheart? Stay still. Stay still. Thank you very much. I'll be taking you. <laughs> you are all mine now. Thank you very much. And there's, oh, there's a Murkrow there too. So there we go. Catch that. I could sneak up onto this Murkrow and just throw my Pokeballs at it. And look at this, yo. We're just going to be getting a ton of brand new Pokemon. There's a back shot right there. Should be an easy catch. And I'm actually going to fight this Glammy out after we catch this Murkrow. Of course, Murkrow doesn't. He just leaves. I'm going to fight this Glammy out just to add it to my Pokedex. Run it up, Glammy out. Oh, she dipped. Get out of my face. She dipped. But where should we head first? Right side or left side? Let's head to the left side first. We already have a few Drift Blimps. So we're chilling here. And I actually have to get these medicinal leaks over here. Anytime I see medicinal leaks, they're definitely a great purchase. Oh, yo, here's Murkrow. Can I fight you? I'll fight you, Murkrow. Run it up. Run it up, dog. Murkrow is such a cool Pokemon. I really do like Honchkrow. Honchkrow is super cool as well. But I'm going to hit this thing with a flame wheel. And let's see if we can actually just catch it with a Pokeball. Probably make our life 10 times easier. We burn it. We give this thing a burn. Look at this thing. He's going to nice slash up on my Koala. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. All right, let's go into our items. And we have Great Balls now. I could honestly throw a Great Ball, but you know what? Pokeball definitely for a Murkrow. For a Murkrow, heck yeah. If it was anything like higher or like bigger evolution, we'll definitely throw our Great Balls. But Murkrow, like I said, Pokeball should be plenty. So there we go. We catch him. We could head to the right area, but we got to go there later. So we might as well head to the left area first and then get moving on to the other area. But yo, new Pokemon alert. We got a Skroopy. You want an Ormberry, buddy? And there's an Alpha Drapion over there. It's an Alpha Drapion. I know you see that, Skroopy. There you go, buddy. Eat up. Eat up, dude. Thank you very much. Bang. Hit him up here. And can we get the catch? Or do I have to kill it? This thing's called. He can call it. Yeah, we're going to have to kill it. Look, run it, dude. Run it up. I'm going to kill this Skroopy. Add it to my Pokedex. And just catch another one. Because there's plenty floating around this Alpha Drapion. So we'll go here. I could go. Flame Wheel is super effective. So I'll just rock out with it. Probably should be able to kill it in one shot. Get it out of here. And I'm not going to lie. We're level 32. I can definitely see my Koala evolving in this episode, which could be awesome. Which could be absolutely amazing. But there's my boy Alpha Drapion. There's another Murkrow, which I could kill, but I really don't feel like messing with it right now. Mama's over here. Tangela's. I'm going to actually pick up this pet. Oh, this medicinal leak. And I'm going to try to catch this Mammoth here. Come here, Mammoth. 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 How do you pronounce it? Let me get a Great Ball in this thing. Why? Why you got it? Why, dude? Why you got to do this to me? And of course, now everybody sees me. I can't deal with it. I'm poisoned. There's a Skroopy over here. Please leave me alone, guys. Please leave me alone. I just want to hide in this grass. Oh, my God. Hey! Yo, I'm out of here. I just died. I just died. I think that's my first death in this game. Or for this playthrough. Everything went black. What did we lose? Ow, dude. I lost some good items. I lost some really good items. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I lost some really good items. That's our first time blacking out. You actually lose a lot. That's pretty nutty. That's pretty nutty. But, yo, that's it. We're coming right back for this mammoth right here. Got some plump beans. I want a Scroopy. I do want to catch my Scroopy. The Scroopy's kind of a pain to catch. Where you at, Scroops? No, you don't see me. I know you don't see me. I'll switch my Great Ball. And you know what? Eat a spoiled apricorn. That's what you get. You get one of them. Hit you. Bang. Back shot with a Great Ball. That should be an easy catch. I'm out of here. I'm not even going to worry about that. Tanga, look. Get out my face. You hit me last time. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I do not like you anymore. We'll throw a Koala over here. I get you. And we're going to catch this. I'm catching this Mammoth right here. You are coming with me, dude. You are coming with me. First off here, have some honey. And I'm throwing a great ball at this thing. Because these things are kind of a pain to catch. So, come on. Turn around. I know you see the honey. There you go. We're going to try to get the back shot on it. Go ahead. Eat up, buddy. Yeah, great ball hit. That should be a KO. And I'm going to fight this one after we catch this one. Unless that one pops out. Cool. That one doesn't pop out. We're fighting this one, dude. Run it up. I got a quad, but we can take the awesome XP and just get rolling from there. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for a strong style here. Strong style flame wheel. Should be able to just body it, right? Should just be able to absolutely body it. But I can't believe we died like that. 
There we go. Get out of my face. Awesome. Let's roll, Kuava. We out of here. So we gone. We get a little bit of grit dust here. Let's get moving here and just keep on pushing along. Because there should be a few more Pokemon. Actually, I should check the beach. I should check, check closer, closer to the beach considering Sveal Swan. Yep. What did I just say? Nice lovely Sveal. Hello, Sveal. How you doing? You just get a regular Pokeball because, you know, you're just a Sveal. Yo, yo. Back shot. Thank you very much. And we get these new items over here. What are these? Pop-up plants? Or what are they called? They're called Pop Pods. That's what they're called. A little bit of Pop Pods. And look at that. Is that a Star Raptor up there? That's definitely a Star Raptor. Oh, yo. Alpha Machoke? Leave me alone. Starly chilling out here. I'm not dealing with Alpha Machoke. Not dealing with it. Let's just keep moving along with this main mission. Let's go get my Bascule Legion. Definitely want them. And then, ooh, there's some Machops here. I'm going to throw my Pokeball right over this thing just to get the... Uh, just to get the other stuff. And then, can I catch little Pleakly dude over here? I call him Pleakly because that's what he makes. When he makes a sound, it sounds like it's just saying Pleakly. And, yo, there's some Machop here. Of course, that thing pokes out here. Let's see if I can just hit this thing with a Pokeball. Let's see if I can catch that thing. If not, I'll try to catch this other Machop chop over here. And we catch a Machoke easily. Awesome. Love it. Come here, come here, Machop. Yo, catch him up. Catch him up. <laughs> We're just running around hucking Pokeballs. Caught that one. Awesome. We don't really have to deal with them anymore. Now we can just keep rolling here. Keep going on with our main mission. There is a Pokemon in tree, and I really don't feel like dealing with it. We'll just get this one right here. Yeah, uh, yeet. Huck that. And which way do we got to go? We got to go up a mountainside. And there is a way. I think it's that way, right? I think we have to go up. Hmm, where is it? There's a pathway somewhere over here. Which we have to go up. It is... Where are you at? It might be right here. So we gotta head up the mountain. So we are kind of going the wrong way. I should actually head back. I think it's the other way, right? I mean, let me take a look this way. Yeah, it's the other way. We have to go loop all the way around. So we're just gonna get on our high horse with our boy, the deer. With the boy, wind deer over here. Wait, look at that Star Raptor up there. Look at him up there. Star Raptor's flying. Oh, why did I run straight past the Alpha Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but... We gotta take this path up here. It should open up, right? Yep, there's a path just straight up here. And we can make our way up to this new area and catch some new Pokemon. So, Koala, we get that. We should definitely be able to evolve Koala in today's episode, which is great. We see a beauty fly. You guys already know I have a few of them. So I'm just gonna keep moving on. Keep getting all this stuff and things. Keep getting after it. No, no, oh, I didn't get those uh, berries up there. I thought I hit it good enough. But there's this thing. We'll get this. Mama's chilling here. We just caught one and we just defeated one as well. We'll do that. Uh, there's a stone here. We'll rip up on that. Yeah, more mamas, man. More mamas, but I'm really, I really can't wait to get Basque Legion on the squad. What we got here? Paris's. Anything new? Anything new for jeans? Or just a bunch of stones? Just a, just a bunch of stupid crab bug things that I don't want. <laughs> that I absolutely don't want. There's a Stantler. We already have a Stantler. We're fine with it. But I love watching the Stantlers run around. Love watching them run around. We'll definitely collect this medicinal leak. And we'll keep going. Nothing new. Nothing new. Glammeows. I know what's called actually spawns up here, which is pretty cool. Uh, Hisuian Arcanine. So hopefully we can find him and actually add him to our Pokedex here. Give me that. Give me that. Dude, I love collecting materials. Just having so much in my, uh, in my inventory. It's just great. You know, we got some jams playing right now. We're in the grass. Uh, let's get this material right here. You know, Weird Ear, once you get him, the game just goes by so much smoother because you're just riding around. You're just doing your own thing. More beauty flies. I have to look out for my, uh, for that, what's it called? For that Arcanine. I know he spawns up here. I know there's one that spawns up here. More Glammeows, more beauty flies. We do really not need them at all, but I want this stone down here. Where's it at? There you are. There you are. And where's my boy Arcanine? I know you spawn over here. Now, where you at? Right on my weird ear. And yo, <laughs> Alpha Pergoly? I ain't messing with that. A lot of these Alpha Pokemon we can't really mess with right now because they're too high of a level. But you know what? I'm just going to try to hop up here with weird ear. And we get a level up, level 34. That's awesome. Grab this Viva Choke. And what else we got over here? More beauty flies. Nothing new. Oh, there's a Pokemon in here. God dang it. God dang it, Geo, dude. Imagine it popped out and it was shiny. That'd be amazing. We're just gonna run from it. I really don't feel like dealing with it. Hopefully, it doesn't like stay on top of me and bother me while I'm trying to catch this Arcanine because I know he spawns over here. I know for sure he spawns around here. So let's go over here. Where you at, Arcanine? Get up here. Arcanine, where you at, my man? Where are you at? Keep moving. Yo, I know he spawns up here. I know he spawns up here. Maybe it has to be a certain time. Maybe it has to be a certain time. I wouldn't be surprised. But I don't think these Glammeouts attack me at all, which is great. Which is just lovely. So I can just kind of just run past him, let him spot me, and go from there. Let's keep moving. Any Arcanines, dude? I could have sworn an Arcanine spawns up here. I guess not. 
I guess not, but I did catch an Arcanine here before. So if you guys are looking for an Arcanine, I think it's a certain part of the day he'll actually spawn. But there are a few right here. There are a few right here. So if you're looking for one on your team, this is the uh, first place you can actually get them. But we make our way all the way to the top of this mountain, and we trigger a little cutscene. But like I said, when we started off with this place, we went left. Instead of going right, we're going to have to head all the way back right in order to complete the main mission and unlock Basque Legion, dude. I just want to unlock Basque Legion in today's video and make our way towards the double Pokemon to set us up for a great second episode. But this episode is still going to be awesome. This episode is really going to be based on exploring this new area and catching new Pokemon, really. Because we're going to be able to catch a bunch of new water types. And I want to head back to an area and catch another Pokemon that I want on the team that we couldn't get before. Because once we unlock Basque Legion, we can actually explore a brand new area, which is amazing. But not a brand new area, a brand new section of an area that we already went to, which is the Crimson Ireland. But we got Paulina over here. And look at the... Uh, the Hisuian Arcanines, or Hisuian Growlithe right here. They look really cool. I do like them a lot. I keep hitting the wrong button. I have to go down here. Right here. The fire spit on. Okay. But yeah, the Hisuian uh, Growlithe are really, really cool. When they evolve in the Arcanine, they are fire and rock. And they have like such a cool design. It looks like the Arcanine has armor and everything. And I think it's a really cool Pokemon. I'm mean, definitely adding them all to my stream team. But for the team here, we're not going to be using Hisuian uh, Growlithe or Arcanine. Due to the fact is, we already have a fire type with our Hisuian Typhlosion. So, it is what it is. It is what it is, but definitely a very cool Pokemon. And if you guys need a fire Pokemon, because considering there's not that many cool fire Pokemon in this game, there's a few. There's a few cool ones, but if you don't pick, uh, if you don't pick, what's it called? If you don't pick uh, Typhlosion, then it's like, yo, you definitely got to pick up. It was his Suing Arcanine on your team, you know? But we gotta head all the way back to the beginning. And what am I doing? I can just fast travel from here. We can just hit the dip button, hit the fast travel, and we gotta make our way all the way over to the right side now, like I said, that we had to do in the beginning of the video. So let's use our fast travel to our advantage and let's roll out. Uh, did any of my Pokemon take damage? They might have. So, you know, what? let's rest till midday, considering I like to actually catch the Pokemon in midday because nighttime, most of the areas have the same Pokemon. So, midday, especially when you're in a new area, gives you all the new fresh Pokemon. So, let's roll out. Let's roll out. Do, 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 do. And at nighttime, a Honchkrow does spawn over here on the right side, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for a Honchkrow, it is you can catch them over here, but it's better to catch them with like the uh, jet balls and all that, or the Pokeballs that fly straight, which is awesome. But we'll go here. We'll just keep collecting materials on our way over there. And the materials actually add up. Let's just start raving. We already have them. But the materials definitely add up. Like the, oh my god, Alpha Wall Ring. I ain't not messing with that. He's going to whoop me. We got a Tangle over here. And did I catch a Tangle in this game? I actually don't know. Maybe I should catch this one. Hello, Tangle. Get over here, dude. Yo, I don't know if I caught this one. I know I caught him in my other game. Let's see. No, we, did, I, we didn't catch that one yet. But you know what? Let's switch back to our Pokeballs. And let's hit this one up. Beop. Beop. Smoke him up. Come on. Give me the catch. Give me the catch. God dang it. Yo, why are these boys following me? Oh, yo, an Eevee. Yo, let me catch this Eevee. Let me catch this Eevee. Show me. I gotta, I gotta throw out a Pokeball. I gotta catch this thing. An Eevee! Yes, sir, yo. Eevee spawns over here. He also spawns in the high fields. Is there anybody else attacking me? <gasps> you son of a biscuit. You dirty dog. How you gonna do me dirty? You know what, Tangle? This is your fault, man. I couldn't sneak up on it. So that's it. I'm coming back to you and I'm catching you. I'm catching you, Tangle. Come here, dude. And there's a plump bean right here that I want. Yo, I gotta get closer to this thing. I'll do a roll. Oh, don't mind he turn around towards me. I want to get a back shot on him. Yeah, let me catch you. I'll, throw, I'll hit both of you guys with Pokeballs. I got to catch one of them, right? He pops out. God dang. Can you stay in? Yes. All right. That's our second one we caught, though. But, dude, I'm kind of upset we didn't. We couldn't get that Eevee. I really want the Eevee. We got Floatzel over here. Is this an Alpha Floatzel? Why does it look like an Alpha Floatzel? You have big eyes, buddy? He does not. He does not. So we can catch a Floatzel on the squad. Let's catch a Floatzel. Here you go. Have an, have an Ornberry. Sneak around it. You know, I should have actually hit this thing with a great ball, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll definitely see more Floatzels. And here's another one right here. So we'll just hit this one with a great ball. Where's my great balls at? Here's your great ball. Try to get it behind it a little bit. Do a little roll. I'll shoot. Might as well just hit it with a Pokeball. It spotted me because I did a roll dodge. I didn't think it could. But great ball. Catch it. God dang it. God dang it. Okay, there's another Floatzel. We'll try this one. <laughs> we'll try this Floatzel. We'll definitely try this one. You know, third time's the charm, baby. 
We'll switch to our items. Is that thing attacking me? Yo! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll give this one a Petcha Berry. Show me. That one better eat up. Oh my god, I hate this game. I'm out of here. I cannot take hits. Eight bombs! Hold up, I need to catch these eight bombs. I need to catch these eight bombs. Eight bombs. Please don't spot me. Stop shooting stuff at me. Yo! Chill on me. Give me this great ball. You know what? Here you go. He dipped me. You son of a biscuit. Oh, why did I throw another? Why am I throwing multiple of them? I'm out of here. Dude, I don't feel like dying again. There we go. Call a palm. Let's bounce. Let's bounce. We out of here. There you go. Trigger this cutscene right here. We were about to die. <laughs> Too many Pokemon be seeing me, dude. Too many Pokemon be seeing me. But we can set up a camp up here if we really want to. This mama still sees me. And is there any other Pokemon that I want to catch over here? I don't want to catch this a palm. Can I snipe him with a regular Pokeball? He's deep. Kobe. That was a good throw. Want to catch more A-Poms. Why are you moving? Why are these dudes moving? I see you, Mammoth, over there. And I actually want to fight this A-Pom here. Just add it to my decks. Do they always pop out if you... Did I catch that one? I don't know if I caught that one. I don't know, but I'm going to fight this A-Pom. Hit it with a nice little strong style move. And just get moving along here. <laughs> <laughs> Play more poking. Beep. Big old damage. We do not KO it. So this thing's going to get two turns. Then double hit. Raises offensive stat. Will we double hit again? Do it again. Use a swift. Oh, no. Ouch, dude. Chill on me. Yeah, I want to KO this thing for sure. Just finish this thing off. He dodged. Please don't kill me. I'm really dying to eight palms out here. I'm really dying to eight palms out here. You're dead. You're dead. We're bringing out this cleaver and we are ripping into you. No problem whatsoever. I just want to kill it for the thing, and this thing's really ripping into me. Really ripping into me. Stealth Rock's coming out here. A-Pom, get out of my game. But cool, we get to add that to the Pokedex. I'm going to try to add a Floatzo to my deck. More A-Poms are running. And we got to go here and heal up my dude. How many revives do we have left? Three. I know we lost some when we fainted earlier, but it's all good. Uh, where's my Super Potions at? I know I made a few. We did lose a few of them, too, and they're pain. they're pain to make, actually. They're definitely a pain to make, but... Let's head over here and let's see if I can catch a Floatzel. Because I want a Floatzel in the decks, man. Hey, Pom, how you doing? I love me some Hey, Poms. Well, let's throw this. Why? Why? You know, I'm out of here. I'll catch one on the way back. We'll catch one on the way back. I'm not dealing with them today. <laughs> Every single Pokemon spotted me today. I definitely need to get some, like, stealth potions or something along those lines. But let's keep moving here. We got Staravia's. We're at Bather's Lagoon. There might be some more Floatzels over here, which could be nice. But uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. More Buizels. And is that a Floatzel? That's a Psyduck. Lovely little Psyduck. Yeah, good koala. We'll do this. And I think we're going to get Hisui and Typhlosion today, which is going to be amazing. More Ducks. I love me some Psyducks. They're such a cool Pokemon. They're such a cool Pokemon. All right, let's move on over here. Beauty Flies. Grab this Bug Wart. Another Beauty Fly, which we do not want. Another Beauty Fly again. <laughs> like, just so many. And there's a sunken ship over here. And I believe we have to catch a Dust Cops over here for the main mission. But let's see what we got cooking over here. Show me something new. Show me something new that I can add to my Pokedex. We got more beauty flies, man. <laughs> it's just so many beauty flies, dude. All day. Like, why? There is Alpha Golduck. We can't really do anything with Alpha Golduck. That's a Psyduck, dude. I don't mind me some Psyduck. Psyduck is such a cool Pokemon. Let's head over here. Let's see if we can find some newbies. I know some newbies spawn over here. Like Chadot. Hello, Chadot. You do not see me from that far. Get out of my face. If you, if you see me from that far, you're done. Where's my Pokeballs at? There's this and a Starly. Let's hit this thing up. Beep. And hopefully we get that catch there. Catch it! Catch it! Let's go. Chat out in the bag. I'm actually going to switch to my... Uh, I'm actually going to switch to my Cleaver right here. Just to KO this thing and uh, add it to my Pokedex that way. Because to add the Pokedex, you got to do so much stuff. Chat out does not run away. And cool. We can just finish this thing off with a self box all day. Later, Chat out. Oh, it eats it up. Get out of my face. But the Splinters will take it out. He's going to keep his guard up. And he just runs. What the... Bro, get out of my face. Get out of my face. We'll drop this Cleavor. Any other Pokemon that are new over here? I see some Chadots. Oh, is anything else cooking? We got cooking. We got cooking. I know we uh we passed the area. This is where we have to go. We probably should have hit up that area first. But I was hoping that Dust Cops could spawn here because we have to catch one for our mission. For our mission. Let's roll here. Let's see what else we got over here. And we got nothing. I'm looking for that Dust Cops, man. I really want the dust cops. Dust cops, where you at, my dude? 
This dust cops doesn't spawn until night, so maybe we'll wait till nighttime because it's almost actually nighttime. And we can explore these areas right here and just see if we can find any new items and all that good stuff. Any new Pokemon, at least. Like, show me something back here. It's kind of foggy and stuff. But if you travel onto these little islands over here, you got all these rocks and a, a bunch of other materials that you can actually collect. Hello, Staravia. Staravia. More Starlies. We do not need Starlies. But look at this. We have a box over here. Let me take this thing out. What's inside this box? I feel like you can find some good items in these boxes. Yeah, two Great Balls. Here. I'm with it all day. Do not have space for my satchel? For what? What did I try picking up? Was there extra stuff over here? There was. What is this? A uh, grain cakes, mushroom cakes. Oh, wow. And an ultra ball. Oh, dude, should we drop stuff? Nah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But like I said, wait for this nighttime to actually hit. Because dust cops should spawn. And we need this lovely little dust cops. Let's see what this person says. It kind of sticks. We can't really fast travel over to here. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting. Like I said, I need to find your... Oh, this is... Oh, we can set up a construction camp. Are we setting up a camp? Look for... Ah. Uh, we need to find somebody else to set up a construction camp. Get out of my face. I was going to say, we can set up camp, but we can just fast travel tonight. And we can fast travel back here whenever we want. Which could have been awesome. So if we see another NPC, we'll definitely talk to him. But it's almost nighttime. It's a, it actually might be nighttime. I'm going to go see if we can find... If Dust Cops may be spawned here. Well, Dust Cops, I need you, man. I need you, dude. Did he spawn? If not, we'll, we'll, we'll come back here in a little bit. But, yo, is that an alpha apom? What is that? Oh, no, that's just leaves. That's just flowers that look like it had red eyes. Like, look at that. Look at the yellow flower. The red flowers with purple on it. <laughs> Get out of here. What is hitting me, dude? Sorry, you leave me alone. I'm looking for other Pokemon other than you. More chat outs. I need these guys to spawn. I need this dude to spawn, but I guess we'll go back there for now. I mean, now it's definitely fully nighttime. So if I leave this area and come back, we'll spawn. Last chance. If it doesn't spawn, then we're going to head back. We're going to go collect that main mission and uh, get moving. But drift looms are spawning and, and birds are flying away. And there's a dust skull. And there's the dust cops. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. I'm not going to sit here. These uh, dust cops or dust norse or dust skull spot me. I don't know if it did. Did not. And I'm going to have to kill this thing. I'm gonna have to kill this thing with my uh, cleaver. I catch that thing? I did not catch that one, but I'm gonna have to kill this one because this thing's gonna bother me, and I really need to catch this uh, dust cops. I really do need to catch this dust cops. So we use stealth rocks on this thing. Beep later. Oh, didn't it kill him? Get out my face! Get out my face! This one's gonna use hex. And we're gonna take some damage. We take some damage, but these pointy stones should actually take this thing out all day, which is lovely. Get out my face, and we get moving. So there's the dust cops that we need. So we definitely have to feed it. We'll give it... Oh, there's two Dust Cops, actually. We'll give this one a Pineapple Berry, and we'll go to our Great Balls, because, you know, Great Balls have a higher catch right here. Sneak up behind this little booger. <laughs> Yo, what's he doing? I'm gonna have to fight this one. Catch this one old Pokemon style. Why was he, like, spinning around? He was, like, glitching out, and, of course, this thing's level 40. You know, I'm gonna go here with Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks gonna have him chip up some damage here. And hopefully this thing doesn't just dump on me. It's level 40 Shadow Ball. God dang. God dang, this thing's ripping. Might as well just start throwing Pokeballs at it. I'm going to throw a Star Ravy out here because I do not want to lose my big Pokemon. I could go for another hitting shot, but, you know, let's just start let's just start hucking these Great Balls at him. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a nice little quick catch here. Huck that thing out here. Get it up there. Run it up. Give it to me. Give it to me. Firework, shoot. Dang it, man. Do not run away, though. He's going to use Shadow Ball again and dump on me. Dark Pulse. Okay, we survived. We get another chance to throw a Pokeball at it. We doing it again. Like I said, we need this for the main quest, so we might as well catch it. Let's catch it up. Let's catch it up. Give me it. Give me it. Yes! Cool. Okay, we got the Dust Cops finally. Now we can head back and go do the main mission if we want to. If we really want to. There's more Dust Cops, but we already have it. I'd rather catch a Dust Skull. Oh, there is Dust Skull. No, you don't see me, Dust Skull. I know you don't see me. Let me get in this grass. I know you're hungry. You want a you want a plump bean? I feel like you're a plump bean kind of guy. I feel like he's a plump bean kind of guy. Where's my great balls at? I need him. He's eating. Bang. Hit him with that. Give me that catch. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yes, sir. Yo, great balls coming in clutch. All right. Now that we got the dust cops, we're chilling here. We we explored this right area pretty well. I can keep hopping over here and we can go back and complete this main mission. Do not knock me off, my dear. Yes, we dodged it. Awesome. <laughs> we dodged it. 
like I said, most of the time in nighttime, it's pretty much the same Pokemon just flying around. And look, at nighttime, you can catch a Honchkrow. He's just chilling up there. You actually hit him with a Pokeball, too. But it's a pain in the neck to get. But we go back to Apom Hill. I didn't even notice this was actually called Apom Hill. I think it's kind of funny. And we'll get all this honey on the ground. Hop up here. And we'll get moving to this guy. Hello, Volo. Volo, what is up, my man? So we'll trigger this cutscene, and after we uh, give, not Volo, it's another guy, after we give him the Dust Cops, we will get Bascu Legion, which is absolutely amazing. I think one of them gives us Bascu Legion food, and then we feed him, and we befriend him, which is awesome. But I'm not going to lie, Bascu Legion might be the funnest Pokemon to ride on, even though Weird Air is great, and I haven't rode on Braviary yet. So far, out of the three, my boy uh, Bascu Legion is the best one. But we got to go up to this little house on the Lordless Island. And some guy comes out here and he's like, oh, look at this, blah, blah, blah. He's like, show me a Dust Cops. And that's why we have a Dust Cops. <laughs> and then we give him a Dust Cops and he gives us the food and we roll out from there. And we roll out from there. It's Iskin. Hi, Iskin. How you doing, dude? How you doing, Iskin? But he asks us why we're here and we're just like, yeah, we want to go to Fire Spit Island. And Fire Spit Island, we actually have, I didn't show it to you guys. Off the top of the cliff, if you look to the right, Fire Spit Island's a volcano island. And it's really, really cool. That's where we're going to fight the next Noble Pokemon. So that's at least the spot where I want to make it to by the end of today's video. But Iskin, he's talking to us. He's like, yo, I can give you the food, but we need Dust Cops to make it. So I'm like, got it. I'll get you Dust Cops, no problem. But he tells us exactly where Dust Cops are, is. So like, if you guys get to this point, you do not know where Dust Cops is. He's just like, yo, it's over at that sunken ship all the way down the road. And you can't miss the sunken ship. But we go back to him now that we already have Dust Cops. And we show it to him. Where's he at? Yo, we caught a good amount of Pokemon awesome there we go select that up and dust cops does some voodoo magic here wait till you guys see this i actually love this little cutscene i think he throws them out right what do i forget let me see yeah look at him look at dust cops he does some voodoo magic over here and makes us some bascu legion food no problem three two one it's too frightening <laughs> could you get a grip dude let's do it <laughs> I like, how, I like how the text animation was legit. Could you get a grip? <laughs> but there he goes. He's Dark Pulse over on this food right here. Bang. The delicious aroma made some Basque Legion food. And we get a ball of it. We get a whole ball of Basque Legion food, which is awesome. So now we have to, all we have to do is go to the Ginkgo Landing. Feed it to him. And there we go. And there we go. But before we actually go there, got to heal up the Pokemon. And I'd rather switch to Midday. Actually, we'll switch it to morning. Nice little Basque Legion uh, feeding in the morning. Can't go wrong with it. Cannot go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with the Basque Legion feeding. Doo -doo. And do we want to put some stuff away? I feel like we should. Like, no, we're, we actually collect Pop Pods, so we'll move that. We have a Fire Stone, which I'll move out the way. Uh, Bug Warts, you guys can go. Uh, what else do we want to move? Now, we like the Honey, the Thunderstone. How am I getting these stones, man? I'll take them, though. I'll take the stones all day. Uh, these spoiled apricorns, we don't want any of them. And I guess these leaves. All right, onward. Could make more Pokeballs, but we have some great balls and stuff. So let's get moving here with my weird ear and go right down to the Ginkgo Landing and unlock ourselves a new rideable Pokemon. Yes, sir. Hello, Sfeel. I love Sfeels. This game's amazing, yo. This game is so good. I love every single experience coming with this game. It feels like something brand new. Like, usually when you play a brand new Pokemon game, like even Sword and Shield, you're just like, oh, it's the normal routes. It's normal this, normal that. But when you play this game, everything is brand new and it just feels amazing. It feels like you're playing a Pokemon game for the first time. Not even gonna lie. But we come over here and we bring out our food. Where's my food at? Actually, he brings out his flute. How come everyone has a flute? Even I have a flute. But, yo, I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of the coolest Pokemon in this game. And this is the next Pokemon I want on my team. I want this Basque Legion on my team. But first, we have to catch a Basculin. But look at this Pokemon. I think it is one of the coolest looking Pokemon in this new region. I think all the new Hisuian forms look really, really cool. And Cleaver. Like, yo, look at this dude. He's definitely coming on the team. Basque Legion, dude. Looks so sick. And it was long overdue. Like, how are you going to make Basculin but not give it a second stage? Look at my bro, dude. Look at my bro. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. Look at his tail. It's like ghosty. I think he's a ghost type, isn't he? I think he is a ghost type. Just like a Hisuian Typhlosion. So we'll double down on the ghost types, but we need a water type on our squad. And I'm not turning down this Pokemon. I'm not turning down this Pokemon. I'm not turning down one of the coolest water Pokemon in the game. And he's new. 
That's why, as you guys can tell, my team is based off a bunch of the new Pokemon. It's like, I'm not going to not use uh, the new Pokemon. They're just so cool. Pokemon that I never used before, I would love to throw them on my team. But this chick's walking around with Hisui and Growlithe all over the place, <laughs> which is hilarious. But we still have to find a Bashkin, and I know they spawn in this, uh, in this area. And then we can go back. I know of another area that I still have to go to to get my other Pokemon team. So like I said in the beginning, we might actually get two Pokemon or two brand new Pokemon for the squad, which is amazing. But the coolest part about uh, Ryan Basculin is you could throw Pokeballs off his back. And you could jump in the air and do a slow motion throw, which is kind of hard to actually do. It's kind of hard to lead and all that. But before we actually go in, it's kind of whack. The, the, these little sisters are here again. I totally forget what their names are, but they bother us in like every area. The Misfortune Sisters, that's what they're called. They bother us in every area, and this one, it's nothing new. They're going to come here. They want to fight us before we can even go into Basculin Legion. But it's kind of a pain because you unlock Magic Legion and you're super excited to just like hop on its back and then these guys pop up. But they have a Gengar. They have a Gengar. I kind of want to, I wish, uh, I kind of want to fight the Gengar because you know how much XP we would get for Gengar. It would be amazing. But we're, we should get enough levels in today's episode to actually evolve Typhlosion. I think that's going to be my goal. I think it's going to be my goal. Evolve Koala before it ends, which we should be able to. We're at 34. We need to get to 36. We're going to be catching a bunch of new Pokemon, which means a bunch of new XP coming out here. And I think we have to battle uh, maybe this Gengar or at least uh, some other Pokemon for him. But Gengar comes over here. He does his little ghost move, sneaks around, and he takes one of our Growlithe. How dare you? He takes one of my Growlithe, and that leads us to our next mission with the chase down these sisters and grab ourselves that Growlithe back. You son of a biscuit. Give me my Growlithe. But more importantly, let's go ride on this Basket Legion. Let me go. Let me do it. And they send her, and they send us to Fire Spit Island, which is the island that we came here to actually go to to fight the next noble Pokemon. Which will definitely be there in a little bit. Show it off before we end the episode because it's really, really cool. It's a giant volcano. It's a giant volcano. Giant volcano with a... Uh, which you can uh, traverse through. It's pretty cool. But we unlock Basket Legion, which is amazing. And look, all that we have to do is ride a weird ear right into the water. And look at this! My boy. Look at this. We can hop. We can do all crazy stuff. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I want to have my Pokeballs out here. Let's look at this. Yo, we got a bunch of new Pokemon here. Let me actually hit this thing with a Great Ball. I missed it. Come here. Stay still. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where's my Pokeballs at? We'll save the Great Balls for Pokemon that we really, really want. There's another Mantic right there. I know Ram Raid spawn out here. It's really, really cool. What do we got over here? We can actually jump. We can go faster. Is that a Ram Raid? What is this? What is this? What's moving right here? I'm gonna follow this. <laughs> what is this? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. I guess we're not following it. Let's get moving again. Get moving in the water. A bunch of new Pokemon we're gonna see. I know Hisui and Quillfish spawns out here. Ram Raid spawn out here. Here's a Ram Raid right here. I can't even hit him with a Pokeball. He sees me, right? I would love a smoke with a Pokeball. But we're just gonna go slow here, traverse through the water, and just add a Ram Raid. Dude, all of them see you in the water. That's That's the biggest pain here. It's like every single Pokemon will see you while you're in the water. Oh, but here's some cool fish. No, I didn't mean to do this. I don't want that cool fish to see me. Throw a Pokeball at it. And of course we miss it. But we can do this. And go slow motion throws here. Maybe smoke that. Nope. Dude, these guys cook way too quickly. I hit you? Nope, we gotta fight these dudes. And I'm not fighting three at once. So I think that our best bet here would be uh, get up on this island. And it instantly switches, which is really cool. Look at this. We're already weird here. I get up here? I want to try to catch some Pokemon, man. Let me catch some Pokemon. Do not attack me. Why do these Pokemon just straight up attack me? Oh, there's a Wisp here. There is a lovely Wisp, but I got to catch these Quillfish. I got to catch these Quillfish, and we got to get moving on. Get all my new Pokemon that I can. I wish I could sneak up on Quillfish. There's one right there. Can I hit you? Throw that Pokeball. There we go. Hit you. Come on, catch that Quillfish. If not, we're going to have to move on to the next Quillfish. Yes! Awesome. We caught a Quillfish. Cool we add here. Let's go find a Bashkin, dude. I really want to find a Bashkin so bad. But I only seen him spawn in one place. But what is this? Oh, yo, Mantine! Is that Alpha? It looks too big, right? It looks way too big. Mantine over here. We got Ram Raids. Don't see me. Why is that thing? That is an Alpha uh, Mantine over there. Why does that thing see me? There's a Mantike here. We could KO it if we want. But we're just going to keep moving on here. What is that? Oh, a Shellos! Hey, lovely Shellos. Come here, dude. Come here, Shellos. Hey, dude. Why is you guys got to hit me like that? There we go. Catch a Shellos. Dope. 
Dope, dope, dope. We are poisoned, so you know what? I'm gonna hop back in this water. Let me use my basculum. Why can't I use my basculum? There we go. We can use basculum now. I guess it's because we were poisoned. Let me get moving on here. What do we got here? We're just making a splash. Oh, that's a regular mantine. Let me catch it. Let me hit it with a back shot. Yes, sir. Let me get it. Catch it. Need it. Need it for my decks. Let me get XP. Yes, sir. Big ol' XP. We're level 35. And I'm looking for my basculum, dude. We still haven't caught a Ram Rain, but Ram Rain spawn all the time. You spawn all the time. And is there ever, that's Ram Rain? Nope, Mantike. Basculin, where you at, my dude? If I see a Basculin, like, I'll fight it to catch it. I need it on the team. Need it on the team. Go over here. What are you? It's a Quillfish again. What's this right here? Another Quillfish. Bunch of Quillfish over here. We'll hop up on this rock, and we'll make our way towards Fire Spit Island. Hey, let me up here. Make our way towards Fire Spit Island. That's Fire Spit Island. See the volcano right there? Really, really cool. But I really want to find a Basculin, man. Got a bunch of Quillfish. Quillfish is a cool Pokemon. Poison and Dark type, maybe? I think it's something around there. It's something like that. But, ooh, yo, Tentacle. Is that Alpha? Yeah, it has red eyes. God dang it. I want to catch a Tentacle for the squad. Let's keep moving here, yo. Show me a Basculin, man. Show me my dude. Ooh, Wisp. You know, we, we we're all about collecting this Wisp. But, yo, this place has another huge area all the way back there. Which we'll definitely like explore uh, in the next episode. Because right now, look at all this area we get to explore right here. But I'm going to end it off at Fire Spit Island and catching my Basculin. I'm going to at least try to catch my Basculin. And we're going to head back to another area to catch another Pokemon and evolve his Suing type version. But we're going to save that whole other area over there for next episode. But I remember in my stream playthrough, I uh, I saw a Basculin over here. I kind of want to get ripping over here and see if I can find him. Well, masculine. And there's two different forms. There's male and there's female form. I think female is the red form. And male is the blue form. So I don't really mind which one I get. They're both really, really cool. We got some chests and stuff. And what you can actually do with these chests. Oh, that's a masculine. No! Bro, there was a masculine right there. Spawn another one. Spawn another one. There was one right there. Smoke bombs. Oh, there's some. Yo, why did they swim away like that? I think I just have to fight it if I see one. Yo, any more? Oh, there's one right here. There's plenty right here. Why? How do I catch these things? How do I catch these things? Go for the snipe. Bro. How do I catch these things? They're spawning right here. I gotta figure out how to catch these. Maybe we'll have to catch them in the next episode. But we'll get this wisp. How do you catch these? Do we need like food? I think I need to throw food. Is there another one? Can another one spawn? Like five of them just spawn. There's one. Let's throw food out here. Well, I know you see that. Dude, these things are a pain to catch. Oh, this one sees it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes! Catch it! Please catch it. Please catch it. Let's go! Level 44? Yo, he's on the squad. Put him on the team. Put him on the team. Put him on the team. So food's the way to go when catching them. Let's catch this one. Let's catch this one. Heck yeah! Basket, put him on the team! I just smoked him in the head. It's all good, yo. We caught one! I love it. Can I battle one? Actually, I really don't want to battle one. Hi, Basculin. That's what's showing here this time. Hi, Basculin. Yo, these things are a pain to catch. But there we go. Catch a Basculin. Level 44. I don't even know if they'll obey us yet until we get our next star rank. But I'm definitely adding it to the squad. Definitely adding it to the squad. Is there more over here? There's Quillfish and whatnot. And more Quillfish. No, we don't need. And we're going to start heading back to the other area. But this is where we're we should end off our spot right here. We have Fire Spit Island. But I want to go back and catch another Pokemon for the squad. Just so we can have four Pokemon on the team. And put my boy over here. But we'll definitely explore this island right here. Because I love traversing through the water. And the lands over here. It's just too much fun. We got more Shellos. How you doing Shellos? Shellos is cool. I do dig me some Shellos. But I actually battle a Shellos right now. Just because I got to kill one for my Pokedex. Might as well, right? Hello Shellos. How you doing? And we'll fight him. And we'll go into a Stealth Rocks. And I could actually change some moves, I think. Which could be really good for us. Oh, this thing's going to be super effective onto us. 
Oh, let's use the ancient power. Oh, ancient power is still super effective. I, I, I totally forgot, forget that uh, rock moves are super effective to this rock type because we're bug type. Super whack. But there we go. We defeat Shellos right here. And what level is my boy on? He's close. He is close. And like I said, oh, there's a Gashon. I would love to catch me a Gashon. Plus, I'll get some good XP. Let's talk a berry over for him and bring out my great balls. Are my great balls. Gashon, how you doing? My me, how you doing? Eat up. Nope. Eat up, and we're going to actually get this XP right here. I should actually use my Quabum or so. But of course, we don't catch the Gastro. Gastro would kill both my Pokemon, so I'm not facing off of that. Oh, no, there's a Finian. Hey, no, Finian. And a Luminian. That looks like an Alpha Luminian. I, I ain't going to front. I ain't going to lie. Let's switch to my Pokeballs. Where's my Pokeballs at? Finian seems easy to catch. No, Finian. There you go. That's an Alpha. I ain't messing with that. Can we catch that? Did we get that to the team? Yes, sir. Give me that. Get some more XP. My boys are almost ready to evolve. My boy is almost ready to evolve, but we can head through here. It's like a little shortcut, and there's a cool little ancient stuff here. But in the meantime, we can just go back. We're just going to fast travel back, and we're going to go back to the Crimson Islands and catch another Pokemon for the squad. So we're going to do that. That should give us enough levels to actually evolve our boy. Or XP to evolve our Typhlosion, and we can add Basket Legion to the squad. Come here. Where's my Basket Legion? 44 to see such a high level. Uh, I want to see my Pokemon. So let's switch this thing out here. Basculin, dude, with Wave Crash. And that's how you evolve it. Wave Crash is actually a move that, uh... Let me switch you. Let me move you, too. Wave Crash is actually the move that you need to use to actually evolve Basculin. It, it does recoil damage, so you have to use it so many times to take enough recoil damage without dying. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna craft 21 more of these and uh, about 20 more of these. That's fine. I'll actually craft a few revives. A few revives, and we'll craft a few potions. I don't think we have any pep up plants, right? No, we have no Peppa plant, so that's fine. We out of here. Let's go to back to the Crimson Mylands and roll off from there. Uh, no, we do not want to report our stuff. Oh, we have to report our stuff. Wow, that's whack. We have to report our survey results. Wow, I want to stack them up. But look at all the stuff we caught. Got a bunch of new Pokemon. 18, 17 times. 17 are brand new, and we get 10,000 Poke Dollars. Loving it. Loving it. And we add Basic Legion to the squad, which I love. How much? Look at all the stuff we get. We finished anybody in the decks? No, but we added a bunch of Pokemon, which is really, really cool. And how many points did we get? Only 580. You get a lot of points when you complete them in your Pokedex, not just by catching a lot of Pokemon. But there we go. We get 580 points. We're definitely going to need it for when we beat this area at Fire Spin Island. But like I said, I want to head back to the Crimson Mirelands before we finish off today's video. Catch our fourth Pokemon for the team. And more importantly, go back to Fire Spin Island and finish off that. But let's go here. Back to the Crimson Mirelands. We have to head, head to an area which we couldn't go before until we got Basculin Legion. But now we have it. And we have a Basculin on our team. Level 44. God dang, that thing rips. That thing is such a high level. But let's take a weird here. Do we have a camp to fly to? We do not. Because we have to head over to like the home trial over here. Which you guys will see. A very cool Pokemon actually come out here. But let me actually use my Koala here to get all the material. Because we can get the most XP out of them. Look at that. Plus 40. Yo, he's super close to being able to evolve. Super close, which I love. We'll go here, and I can actually make this jump right here. Yo, <laughs> I love jumping with my boy. I'm just going to jump into the water here. I love that, yo. We can just change instantly and go right into the water, which is amazing. I got to remember, maybe on our way back to Fire Spin Island, to actually catch a Ram Raid and add to our Pokedex. That's one Pokemon that we saw today that we didn't catch. Or maybe go back and catch a Floatzel. Go catch a Floatzel. Let me check the map real quick. Close to the area that we want to get to, but not yet. But not yet. We caught pretty much mostly all the Pokemon in this area. Not all of them, but most of them. No, I kind of just want to fly to get my new Pokemon. But there is a few newbies over here. Like Toxicroak, I think, spawns here. And I want to go catch my boy. I want to go catch my, my new Pokemon for the squad. So we're going to get two Pokemon for the squad. I believe we can hop off right up here. I believe there's an area which we can... I mean, we can probably just make this jump, right? Yes, sir. And, you know, there's an Alpha Toxicroak. Of course there is. Alpha Toxicroak chilling here. A bunch of Krogonks. We already have Krogonk. But I believe Toxicroak spawn here like normally. Yeah, there's one over here. So I'm going to try to catch with a Great Ball. And this will actually probably give me enough levels to evolve. You know, here, there he is, yo. What do you want to eat? And yo, wait, there, there's a Torterra! Bro, there's a Torterra. Here's a berry for you, though. We get a great ball off for this thing. Who sees me, though? Please don't see me. Can you stop shooting at me? You know, I'm just gonna hit this thing with a Pokeball. There we go. <laughs> Can we catch it with a great ball? I love it, but yo, Alpha Torterra chilling there. Cool, yo, catch Toxicroak, and we're almost leveled up. Almost leveled up. I got to dip around there. Oh, there's a Golduck. Oh, I don't want you to see me, Golduck. 
Nobody saw me. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Golduck will do some work. And too many Pokemon around there, especially that Alpha Torterra. Oh, he's hitting me. I'm dipping. Jeans is gone. Jeans is gone. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, there's Patil. We already have a Patil, though. Do we have a Patil? I didn't want to catch one, though. We might already have one. There you go. Let's hit that up. Let's get moving on. I think we already have one. Yeah, that's our second one we call it. And there's my boy. Look at him, guys. There's the dude. The, the dog. Goomy. Goomy! There's Hasumi and Goomy in this game, so I definitely want one for the squad. We'll catch a couple. I don't mind it. They're all hanging around here. You're dead. I gotta kill you. I gotta kill this one. Add to my Pokedex. But yo, there is Goomy. We're gonna be adding Goomy to our team. Level 31, which is really, really good. Then he's roll out on this thing. Level 31, which is solid. That's some solid levels there. This thing's gonna use roll out. Or no, it's not using roll out. It's using Ash Spray. Ash Spray's gonna do a nice chunk of damage and drop my defense into that. How dare you? How dare you drop my defensive stat? But there we go. Take you out. And now we just need to catch one to add to the squad. And as you guys can see, there's Hisui and Sligu right there. But that's a... What's it called? That is a... Uh, it's an alpha form. So Gumi actually evolves on high levels. I think it's 40 and 50. Which is pretty nuts. It's bug work. Can we catch that one? Or are we going to have to catch this one? Yes, sir. Add Gumi to the squad. I'll catch this one too. Come here, Gumi. Just so we can get some different natures rolling up here. Yo, oh, hi, Goomy. How you doing? Any more Goomies over here? So I'll catch a couple Goomies. There's another Goomy. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope. And we'll catch one more and go add it to our squad. Yes, sir, yo. Ripping up today. Look at that Sligu. Don't spot me, Goomy. I just want to hit you with this Pokeball. All right. That'll be our last one we throw, and then we're rolling out here. I should do this. And I can evolve whenever I want. But there we go, yo. Goomy, add him to the squad. Actually, I want my material first. There we go. We got our material, and now we can go back to the Mirelands camp. And go right back to Fire Spit Island and finish off today's video. But, yo, add him to the team. Where's my dude at? Where's my dude at? Right here, dude. Our team's looking good now. Our team's starting to look good. Starting to fill out. We need two more Pokemon on the squad, which we will get in the later areas. But let's go to our Pokemon. And let's see what these natures on these Goomies. Look at this. We got guy, girl, and girl. So we call both species. They have all the same moves. So it really comes down to the nature. What nature are these guys? Are they ripping up with a good nature? We got a brave nature, which eh, could be better. We got on this one. Minus speed. Is that sassy? Yeah, sassy nature. And what's this one? Minus special. We do not want that one. And plus speed. That's actually that's a jolly nature. That's actually really good. Look, looks like we'll use a looks like we'll use our uh, sassy nature. I'll take the sassy nature here. Wait, which one which one's the sassy nature? But the, this one's brave with a up on attack minus speed. Yeah, so sassy nature. We're gonna use this one. Add it to the squad. Later, uh, Badoof, you're out of here. Gumi and Bastion. Let me see this thing's a summary. Let's see this thing's a thing. Minus speed plus defense. That ain't too bad. Was it relaxed? Okay. This thing's pretty quick. Has great uh, physical attack stat, too. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. But there we go. We might have to actually uh, hand in our Pokemon out with our, with our dude before we leave. We'll see. Yeah, we have to. Okay, so we're going to report our survey in, and then we're heading right back to Fire Spit Island to finish off today's video. Let's go, yo. Nice gold. Nice gold. Loving it. Loving it. And oh, I can actually do some moves. Stuff with Pokemon moves. Which is really, really good. But oh, yo, we finished Gumi already? Wow, we already finished Gumi. That's great. We already finished Gumi. We get 260 points towards our thing. Dope, dope, dope. That is beautiful. That is lovely. That is lovely. But yo, solid episode today. We just explored a brand new area, got two more Pokemon towards our team, and caught a bunch of new Pokemon. And more importantly, unlocked Basque Legion to ride on his back, which I absolutely love. But something I want to do before we actually head to Fire Spit Island is uh, change out my Pokemon's movesets. So as you guys can tell, the moveset and changing them is totally different in this game. It's actually a thousand percent different in this game. You don't when you learn moves, you have to go to this guy and uh, actually no, you don't go to this guy. You just go into your uh, party right here and you can go here and I actually have to evolve you. Let's evolve Quava. I totally forgot about that. We can evolve Quava into Typhlosion, but you actually have to go here and hit change moves and you can change up your moves whenever you want, which is amazing. But yo, check this out. Our starter in a brand new final evolution. We're gonna get his Sui and Typhoon. Look at my dude. Look at my dude. He's so sick. He actually looks really, really cool when uh when he what's it called? When he has flames coming out of his mouth. But he learned a new move. Oh, we could use flamethrower. What move did he learn? Flamethrower? I think it was flamethrower or hex. So we're gonna learn off uh, flamethrower here. And we are also gonna learn hex. We're gonna get rid of Ember here. So I love it. I like this moveset right here. I kinda wanna learn Swift. 
Now nah, I'm kind of good with quick attack. I like that. Let's confirm it. Lock it down. And there we go. Yo, Typhlosion is now ghost type. We got a ghost move on the squad and we are ripping. We are ripping. We'll go to Cleaver too because I believe Cleaver can learn his signature move, which should be Stone Axe. Yep. We'll get rid of Stealth Axe. And uh, what else do we do? I kind of like these moves that we're rocking with. I do like these moves we're rocking with. So I'm going to confirm it. I'm going to confirm it. Stone Axe. Lock it down. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we won't touch Gumi or Bashkin just yet because we haven't really used them too much. So, there we go. There we go. We can't fast travel anywhere, so we're just going to have to take the uh, the Basculin Express to Fire Spit Island. But let me actually hop off here, and I can actually now use... Uh, we'll probably use Gumi because he's lowest level to actually collect a bunch of stuff. Probably my best bet, right? This is my boy Gumi. Gumi needs an XP. He's level 30. Basculin's already level 40-something, which is hilarious. It's hilarious. He's 44. <laughs> just rolling out. I kind of want to catch you. I don't want to catch another Sveal on the team. I'll hit him with a Pokeball, and we'll just let it. If I don't catch it, I don't catch it. It's all good. But what's going to move on here? Oh, we didn't catch it, dude. That's whack. Let's see if I can hit a slow motion shot. What Pokemon are here? There's a Mantec. All right, we're not catching anything. We're not catching anything. But yeah, you can do slow motion shots, which are awesome. Really, really cool. I'm looking for a, a Ramorain. I think it's one of the only Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Oh, there's one. Slow motion. Turn around. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I thought I saw him. There he is. He's right here. Oh, but he sees me. See those little red dots? He sees me. I'm out of here. That's what's tough about catching Pokemon in the water. A lot of them see you, like, at all times. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. They're a pain to catch. What is that? That's a cool fish. Drift blims floating around here. More drift blims. And we can actually take a shortcut right through this thing. What is that? That's the alpha. I'm out of here. Don't touch me. I'm jumping really high. Yo, Basket jumps so high. <laughs> it is awesome. Oh, there's a Ram Rain. Son of a biscuit. I threw it a little early. Alright, show me another Ram Rain. There's gotta be another Ram Rain floating around here. It's all good if we don't catch him. We caught plenty of Pokemon today, which I absolutely love. But let's traverse back with my Bascu Legion. Such a cool Pokemon. And head to Fire Spit Island. Anything cool here? Drift Blims. More Drift Blims. Another Drift Blim. And yo, we can have another shot at catching this Gastron. Can I catch him from here? What a throw. Catch that thing. Give me the catch. Give me the catch. Switch my deer. And yo, we call cash down. Awesome. That's a good catch to finish off today's video. Dope, dope, dope. Right back in the water. But yo, next episode, we're going to be traversing to that area over there. Which is a lot of cool Pokemon. Actually, Pokemon you guys are going to not want to miss out on. Because there's super cool Pokemon that everybody absolutely loves. But here we are in Fire Spit Island. Let me actually use my Gumi right here. Actually, launch that over there. Oh, dude, I threw a Pokemon. I'll we'll throw Gumi over there. And I'll actually throw Gumi up here as well, too. I'll throw him up here as well. But here's the area we have to go to. But we'll be doing that in the next episode. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button to join the community. As the next episode, we're going to be taking on Fire Spit Island and completing our third noble Pokemon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.